Hey guys, it's finally time for another review Wednesday. I know, I know. First, you have to admire the haircut. But enough about my awesome new haircut. Let's talk about the book I'm reviewing today. Always Neverland by Zoe Barton. This book, guys. Mm. Oh my gosh, this book is amazing, guys. This book is about the idea that after the original story, Peter Pan continued to bring different Wendy girls back to Neverland to basically try to replace Wendy Darling. This is not the first book I've seen with this concept, but it is the first that I have read, and I am really, really glad this is the book I decided to start with because, oh my gosh. This is a middle grade book, and it instantly drew me in. Ashley, the main character, is so pronounced and well-defined that I could not put this down. She adds such an interesting mix to the classic idea of Peter Pan that it just was far too compelling to just stop reading. I had to keep reading until I had finished it, and I am so, so so glad that I had this experience. I just, I can't even begin to say how much I loved this book, and I will try to explain why I loved it so much. Ashley, the main character, is great. She is a great personality all on her own. But then you go and throw her into this continuation of the Peter Pan story. The title is Always Neverland, but trust me, Neverland will never be the same. While Peter Pan is a major focal point of the story, and he has great character, this is Ashley's story. She takes Neverland and makes it her own. She doesn't want to be just another one of Peter's Wendy girls. She wants to be Ashley, and it is epic. Everything about this book, the characters, the story, the familiar setting, felt so genuine and natural because I don't think Barton ever lost sight of the reason that she wrote this story, and I think that was mostly to update Neverland for a modern audience. Ashley doesn't want to play mother or do spring cleaning. What 12-year-old does? She wants to be a lost girl. She wants to fight pirates and go on adventures. This retelling doesn't just make the story accessible to the children of today, it meshes an old favorite with modern times. Zoe Barton has a knack for stepping into the role of the character and telling the story from the point of view of a modern child. Barton also earns special extra bonus points for her portrayal of Peter Pan. In other versions, I think he tends to be romanticized because the characters, and maybe even the writers, are so fascinated by him. Not so much with Ashley. While she's still completely in awe of him, she recognizes his flaws and his weaknesses. We know that Peter Pan is cocky and arrogant, but to see it, how it's told in these pages, it just it breathes new life into his character. Ashley isn't the type of Wendy girl that Peter is used to, and watching these two characters interact was probably my favorite part of this incredible book. Barton has a way of using the original without duplicating it, or stepping on its toes. She, much like Ashley with Neverland, makes this place her own. Whether you've read Peter Pan or not, this is going to be a fun story. And Always Neverland by Zoe Barton gets five stars, and I'm really looking forward to seeing anything else by this author. And now it's time to announce the giveaway winners! Yay! Okay, so everyone's name has been put into this cup, and I'm going to shake it up, so let's just uh, reach in here, shall we? Let's see what we've got here. All right, fanboy books. You just won an ebook copy of Heart of the Wolf by Cherie Alsop. Yay! You'll be getting a message from me uh, today. You probably already have it. And I will get you that copy. And you know what, guys? Because you are awesome, I've actually got a second copy of this ebook. And I'm going to pick another name. Got here. Dan Wilson. Okay, you're also going to get a message from me. And congratulations! 
Thanks so much, guys. You were awesome subscribers, and congratulations! Woo! I will see you all next week.